The Busan International Film Festival is Asia's largest and features movies from across the continent and beyond. This year, that included a film from North Korea. <laughs> Comrade Kim Goes Flying is a romantic comedy about a young coal miner who dreams of joining the circus as an acrobat. With her strong determination and support from her co-workers, Comrade Kim gets a spot on the trapeze team and wins over her love interest. Unlike many other North Korean films, there is very little political ideology in the screenplay. That might have something to do with the influence of European co-directors Anya Delamans of Belgium and Britain's Nicholas Bonner. They, along with North Korean filmmaker Kim Gwang Hun, directed the entirely North Korean cast of Comrade Kim. People can identify with these characters, whether you're, we had the premiere, world premiere in Toronto, uh, or whether it's here in the south, or it's in the north. It's, they all identify with these people, these individuals. You, you, know, you know them in real life. Bonner says the movie's humor was not lost on the audience who came to see the film in Busan. But it is not only South Koreans who are impressed with Comrade Kim Goes Flying. <laughs> Dung Myung Suk is a North Korean defector who watched scenes from the film online. The 35 year old, who says she was a big movie buff back in the North, thinks films like Comrade Kim can change South Koreans' opinions of the North for the better. <laughs> When I see my South Korean friends watch North Korean movies, they learn there's more than just propaganda. There's friendship, love, and everyday life in North Korea, too. And some movies show that. Organizers at the Busan International Film Festival say North Korean films have a place at this annual event. Lee Sang-yong is director of world programming for the festival. Even though we cannot communicate directly with people from the north, cultural exchanges, like films, can act in place of that. The producers of Comrade Kim Goes Flying hope the film will get picked up for more screenings on both sides of the Korean peninsula. Jason Struther for VOA News, Busan.